Hi and welcome back. In an effort to give you the best audio visual experience possible, I have added uh, music in the background. It's uh, Baroque style. I have also added um, my title screen that I had in the past. And I will divide up the various uh, turns, phases, stuff like that with captions. So um, sit back grab a drink and uh, we will get started. This is Rakoi, Rakwa. I will not get that name uh, pronunciation correct no matter how hard I try so please bear with me. We are playing the 30 Years War Quad, the Decision Games version. We are playing Rakoi, Rakwa. We are at the start of game turn four, and it is the French player's turn. And he will start with the disruption removal phase. All right. We are going to begin the disruption removal. Let's see here for this French player. This unit may attempt to undisrupt. It's not adjacent to a unit exerting a zone of control. We need a five or six. We roll a six, so it undisrupts. Next. This unit is eligible. Well, that's not going to work very well. I did not state that uh, production quality would increase. Okay, that uh, that I didn't state. Um, so this unit needs a five or six, and it is not adjacent to a leader. So, and it's not adjacent to an. A unit exerting a zone of control. Leaders don't exert zone of control, and that unit itself is disrupted. So, roll the six. This unit successfully undisrupts. Uh, let's see here. This unit cannot undisrupt since it is adjacent to an enemy unit with a zone of control. Let's move on down the line here. Camera. This disrupted French unit will attempt to undisrupt. And it rolls a six. So far, so good for the French player. Needs that unit back desperately. All right, let's come down here and see what we have for uh, disruption removal attempts for the French player. Looks to me like, let's see. This unit is adjacent, is in a zone of control of that unit, so it can it is not eligible. This unit is in the zone of control of uh, the Spanish cavalry. That leaves this unit, which is not in the zone of control of any unit, so it needs a five or six. And it rolls a two, so no effect. And that concludes the French disruption removal phase, game turn four. Okay, we will proceed to the French movement phase of game turn four. Um, this is a, a brief overview of the position of the units at the beginning of the French movement phase. And I will come back at the conclusion of the French movement phase. Okay, this is the position at the end of the French movement phase of game turn four. Um, we advance the center a couple of hexes. We now have a defensive line of cav on up to the uh, Tercio line in the center. 
And off to the French left, we meet back up again with the French cab on the left wing. However, we do have one lone tercio that's kind of out of place. But that part, eh, he really needs to go back into the center. That's where the strongest uh, point of the Spanish attack will come from. So we'll have to do some maneuvering there to get him back. Um, but other than that, we just uh, switched some positions around here, moved back a disrupted unit, moved in a good order unit. Try to keep uh, most of the Spanish disrupted units pinned so they uh, cannot undisperse. I find that to be a useful tactic along with the one to two attack where you move a unit up that's a little bit stronger than the enemy unit and it has to attack at one to two or less odds. Um, that's a, a major tactic in this type of game where you have an odds based combat result system. Um, other than that, we're going to resolve some combats. There's nothing in the center, but we will, will have some units over here uh, engaging in combat on the French player side, as well as over here. The cavalry. So far, cavalry action has been the main um, the main action at the moment so anyway as I think it was historically too I'll have to read you the uh, the historical battle notes uh, at some point perhaps at the end of the game so anyway without further ado we will proceed to resolve combat I'll do that off uh, camera and I'll come back and uh, show you some of the results. Turn four, French post combat phase. Um, we'll see here. On the right hand or right flank of the French formation. Um, let's see, we had one Spanish eliminated unit. I think it uh, was right here. It was disrupted, so it uh, shattered pretty easily. Um, other than that, there's just, you know, we've created a small breakthrough there, but uh, taking advantage of a breakthrough in this game is difficult, to say the least, because you can be surrounded and um, more combat power can be applied against you, therefore increasing the chances that you'll be disrupted or eliminated. Center saw no action. Off to the French left flank. We had um, kind of a bloodbath in many ways, although no units were really eliminated. Um, let's see. I believe we disrupted that unit. I think that was a mutual disruption. Up here there was another disruption exchange. We used two units to try to attack uh, Yenborg. Yenborg, uh, the Spanish leader and his uh, unit beneath him, and that was a no effect. Over here was a no effect, and I think we had disruption here or here, I'm not sure. So overall, the uh, the players flanks uh, in that area are both looking pretty looking pretty uh, I just knocked a few counters over so we'll have to correct that here uh, and during the next uh, part of the video um, anyway um, that's where we are at the end of the French combat phase and we will proceed to the Spanish players uh, disruption removal phase. I've been skipping the artillery phases because obviously there's very little I can do with artillery at the moment so uh, that's where we're at right now. Game turn four Spanish player disruption removal phase. The Spanish player uh, let's see here cannot uh, Undisrupt that unit. Cannot undisrupt that unit. Moving down the uh, battle line here. 
the Spanish unit cannot be dis undisrupted. This unit cannot be undisrupted. This unit can, and this unit can attempt to. So we'll just go ahead and need a five or six. They're not adjacent to a uh, friendly leader. Three, no effect. And this one right here, three, no effect. So that ends the Spanish player uh, disruption removal attempts. We will now proceed to the Spanish player movement phase of game turn four. I will post the results of the movement uh, in the next segment. Game turn four, Spanish post movement phase. Um, the center has closed with the French center. We will see a lot of combat this turn in the center. The French or Spanish have reinforced their left flank the best that they can. Um, it's looking a lot better than it was. And on the Spanish right, still looking pretty uh, um, haphazard here but we have reinforced it with some cavalry and we'll see what we can do the French is also weak so I think we'll see a little bit uh, of the French line collapse over here under pressure of the uh, Spanish cavalry so uh, oh, I didn't uh, record the victory points last turn for the French player. Okay, well, anyway, we will next proceed to the Spanish player's combat phase. Game turn four, Spanish post-combat phase. Uh, let's take a quick look and see what the battlefield looks like now. On the Spanish left, um, they made several attacks, uh, let's see, knocked out a couple of French units, and they received a couple of disruptions, but uh, it's looking kind of even over there. We'll see who can or cannot rally next turn, and that'll make a difference. In the center, is pretty much uh, a wash again. Uh, Oh, I must say, wait a minute, um, let's go over to the right flank again. I don't remember where his position was, but we, uh, we as in uh, the French, lost uh, Gassion there. So that's a lot of victory points for the for, uh, Spanish player. I think it's like 15 or something like that. It's a pretty, uh, pretty big deal, so... That's going to up the Spanish player's count quite a bit, and they should take the lead. And that will also hasten the demoralization of the French player, I believe. Not sure. Anyway, he is KIA. Other than that, we had a lot of disruptions in the center. Well, a few anyway. And then over on the Spanish right... Both sides are looking pretty shaky at the moment. So it's going to come down to who can, who will be eligible to rally, and who can rally, and who does rally. Uh, both sides have committed most of their reserves. The Spanish player has definitely committed his reserves. French player, he's moving up the last of his reserves. So, um... I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see. There's the last uh, of the cavalry and a couple of tercios, which are going to try and reinforce the French right. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see who can reinforce uh, their damaged flank first and uh, try to make a push. Without advance after combat, it's uh, very difficult to gain ground uh, without significant risk. So... This game seems to be hovering around uh, 1 to 2, 1 to 1, and 2 to 1 odds, with the occasional 3 or 4 thrown in. So, and most 
everything is going to be a defender disrupted or defender exchange or defender eliminated so but at the odds I just quoted they're mostly all defender disruptions or defender exchanges or no effects there's quite a few of the no effects so anyway that will wrap up turn four and the next video should see turn five so till then I'll catch you later